Boom, 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 boom! There's nothing to see here. That's a little... The charger sweater that blinks. So we're gonna pour it this way so that there's no fly guts in an omelet. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. Katie Elizabeth in her natural environment. We need to add some angelic music. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> Hi. I have harps. Hi. You have harps? Yeah. Harp? You have a harp? No, I have I have um, music. Like, oh. That's harp. Oh, I was Harpy. like, no way you have a harp, but I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> Woo! Boom, 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 boom! Listen, know. listen, listen. I'm trying to. Can you get out of my camera, Brian? So Dan, I'm just. There's a hot pan over there. I think they want to hear about football. Like okay, so back in Welcome to Heaven's Kitchen. I'll keep down. Uh, fit check today. We have um, a sweatshirt and my marble pants, which are always good luck in the kitchen. Uh, today we're making uh, an omelet, and our ingredients are going to be um, some peppers. <laughs> <laughs> bell peppers. Are they diced or are they chopped? Are <laughs> they diced bell peppers? Diced bell peppers. But we don't use the yellow ones. Why? Because they're not as tasty. So what I do is I cut up all of the, this is a new pepper because we used all of our previous dices. We're gonna put the rest of the pepper in a bag and then we're just gonna take out the strips when we need them, like when we make omelets tomorrow and then cut them again and it's so much easier. It's like already prepared. So we do the same thing with our other pepper. Our orange one. Oh, let me give you some more reasoning for why um, I don't use yellow peppers, um, especially in my omelets. Uh, so one thing that's very important in the kitchen is presentation. So you don't want to be eating something that looks like a blob of like stuff. Like it needs to be nice looking. Kind of general rule that I have for myself, like my own standards, is to not use yellow peppers because it adds no color. You know, because eggs are, eggs are yellow. I mean, she's spitting right now. Um, what's <laughs> Yo. Yo, is that a baby pepper? Is this a pepper baby? I don't know. Mom. Do they grow inside each other? Hold up, wait a minute. We're gonna perform a dissection really quick. <laughs> <laughs> this Stop has turned it. into Katie's anatomy. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Nothing, there's nothing inside. No, it looks like it could grow up to be a pepper. It looks like- Cause it has the hollow inside and it's gonna start growing seeds, but unfortunately it's passed. So we're just gonna toss it. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure we have all of the seeds out of pepper because you don't want seeds in your pepper. Right, right. I right. mean, you do want seeds in your pepper because that means it's a good pepper. Uh, very fertile seedy. pepper, uh, seedy pepper. So then uh, what I'm gonna do is I cut it in half <clears throat> and then I put it under the sink, like so. Under the sink, under the sink. Under, under the, the sink, sink, under the sink. Yeah. Okay, so can we, uh, can you, can you make sure the camera's on me, right? Yes. Okay, no, you have to be my, cause you have to be able to see this. Um, I can see it. No, no, the camera. Oh, for sure. This is the cameraman, Ryan. Mm. No, they can't see my sweater. Dude, you can, I got you and the thing in the shop. I need angles, Ryan. I don't, look, this is a good angle. That is common. It's no, Ryan, I need different angles. Because <laughs> then they can't see my sweatshirt from behind the camera, or my sweater from behind the camera. No, they can. I'll do a whole segment on your sweater in a second. But <laughs> first, we're, we're doing um, Good Morning Denver with Amy Duncan. <laughs> Kidding. Can you can you give me an angle? Can you see my face, Ryan? No. So that's bad. Do you want to see the pepper or your face? Because you got it. Both, and you can do that by standing right there. Yeah. Okay, you got it. All right, so first, we're gonna cut the whole pepper into slices. So we're gonna do a little half seed, and then we're gonna go slice and slice. I recommend using sharp knives when cutting. Oh, really? We don't have sharp knives. I usually use dull knives. You actually do because all of our knives are dull. You just don't That's know what it's like. True. You don't know what it's like to use a sharp knife because we don't have any. Anyways, so we're just gonna keep. I was gonna get dad knives for Christmas, but I decided that. It... I was gonna stick with socks because I always give them socks. So we're just gonna keep slicing like so. My hands are tired. No, it's okay. 
Right, but how are you supposed to become a professional cameraman if you don't hold the camera? I don't want to be a professional cameraman. Ryan, I love your voice. Mom, thank you. Ryan, thank you, Mom. Pretend to be my you cameraman. appreciate me. I do. I want to be a cameraman you. for you now. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, so today. Yo, you're you know, missing the perfect fit. Whoa. This is my fit today. I decided to go with the straight hair today. And I have black leggings. Oh, used to be Katie's. Chill. Never mind. These are my slippers. I wear them every day. Woo! And then I have on this little white camisole Ooh, like and this wrap shirt the and cool. my sweater that oh. actually used to be a long sweater and then dad put it in the dryer and it became a short sweater. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my outfit today. The fit. I, I like it. I really do. <laughs> Thank right. you. Should we do your outfit of the day? Okay, we got my outfit of the day. We got uh, Janie's that are too small for me. <laughs> okay. And then the Chargers photo that blinks. Okay, excellent. So, and you yeah. got your fish necklace on. And I got the fish necklace. Okay, so now that we have the pepper, also, <laughs> are you seeing the peppers? Can they see the peppers? No, we no, no, this is oh, so yeah. quick. This is such a quick step. Okay. Quick okay. step. So, we're gonna keep, we're gonna put all but, I'd say this, or maybe, maybe one more small slice, you know, maybe one of the thin ones. Um, we're gonna leave them out, and then we're gonna put the rest of the pepper slices into the bag, so they can be ready for eating tomorrow. Um, we're only in we're only in the slicing section right now. <laughs> yeah, we are haven't even uh, approached the. Yeah. Well, stone it's yet. slow. It's I put it on. It's on low, so it's gonna be ready to go when uh, when we're gonna have to like you know bring up the heat. So these are our pre-cut peppers that we're gonna keep in the fridge. This is more diced onion. This is pre-diced onion that I diced a couple days ago. Um, that used to be a little more full, and so every day we just, you know, use some more. So I'm gonna make sure I have some nice thin, thin uh, pepper slices, like so. And then we're gonna cut them into just, you know, little chunks. Don't have to be perfect, you know. Everyone makes mistakes. Uh, mistakes are just happy accidents. Uh, shout I like out the Bob Ross. Crow. Shout cool. out to my man Bob Ross. Bobby I've Ross. actually never watched one of his videos. Really? Um, I've you seen should. clips of him, but I've never actually watched a whole one oh because it stresses me out. I mean, it doesn't stress me out, actually. Oh <laughs> it stresses you out. It's, it's so It's so very soothing. relaxing, except it's like, well, I can't do that. He's so, such like, a good painter. Really? He really is, is. is that? It's almost like he's yeah. known for painting. That's crazy. Anyway, so I'm we're just, just we're just it's dicing really these, you know? Ryan has the best ever Bob Ross, um, you've like a Bob, Bob Ross head, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna try and make the amount equal, and we're gonna keep in mind that um, we're using three eggs. So uh, to make sure there's not an uneven ratio of egg to ingredient, um, we're just gonna need to make sure that uh, it's all even. So, anyways, okay, so now that we have these all chopped up, just like so. Mom? Mom? Wait, go back to Katie. Go back to Katie. Yeah, go back to Katie, Mom. Okay, so now that, now that we have all of this ready, um, there's a very specific order in which you have to do the other ingredients. So this is my Bob Ross bobblehead. Oh he's got a bobbly head. And look, he's got all his animals around him because he loves nature and he's painting a picture. And the easel actually doesn't attach to the thing, so it always falls off, which is really annoying. But it's fine. Because, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's literally the best thing ever. I love it. Okay. So excited. Um, do you okay. guys see that? So we're 10 so minutes we're in gonna, and, no, we've no, got, no. and we've got a little pile of peppers with a fly on it. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I'm starting to question the um, integrity of this uh, chef oh, key. There's nothing to see here. That's a little, that's a little concerning. I was going to ask oh for it. Oh my gosh, no. That's a little concerning. Oh, you know, I'm going to pack. All right. Yeah, you know, you, can, you, you take this one. You take this one. All right, hear me out. Bug landed here. That's I slapped it right here. So all I'm gonna do is pour the peppers in this way and it won't even touch it. So it's not even gonna matter. Oh, Moving God. over to second. <laughs> We're gonna start with a little bit of canola oil. Uh, no measurements or anything, just, uh, you know, do just whatever. Try it. Try it. We're not gonna do too much. We're just gonna do about that much, about that much, that, that seems good. Then we're taking this little chunk of butter that I cut off of a stick this morning, and um, we're gonna put it on the pan and spread it around there, which makes it so much easier. You put the butter on then the oil. No, no, oil first so the butter doesn't burn. No. Then the first thing that we're gonna put in is always the spinach. 
This is frozen also, which is like, it makes it last longer. Uh, it's just a nice healthy thing that we like to, that we like to put in. So we're just gonna make sure they are. Uh, taking the flies out. <laughs> no, mom! <laughs> Hold on, I need to like, I gotta get the good ones. Give me a second, mom. I'm, it's only the best for you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Like, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at here with the whole. Thank you. With the She's whole. making me an omelet, which is so very kind. Because um, I'm just drinking my shake this morning. This is where we're gonna leave this to sit here. <laughs> and um, we're gonna could, head back over to. Maybe you could share with us the sign for egg omelet. I don't know what the sign for omelet is, but this is the sign for egg. Okay, great. Everybody can In try that. American Sign Language. So it's like two U's, except one in the left hand. Unless you're left hand, unless you're left handed, then this is right. This is the correct U. But this is the U that I use because I'm already. Anyways, two fingers. And it like, just looks like you're cracking an egg. Like, you know how the eggshells like split like that? Just like, bam. Anyway, that's the side for egg. So uh, Thank you. try it, practice it, use it. <laughs> Like, hey mom, can I have a? And she'll be like, <laughs> what? And you're like, ha, it's sign language, mom. Unless, of course, she knows sign language, which. Right, then. In which she case, she would be like, okay, <laughs> make yourself one. So we put three good size eggs in there. And then, next, oh, we have to make sure we have our most important tool the spatula. A small black spatula. This thing is used more than one time a day in our house. Call it a rubber spatula. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Kate. <laughs> so the next thing we put in is our onions because we have to let our onions cook for a little bit longer than our peppers. Um, so we're just gonna like, you know, kind of eyeball it, you know, just figure out like, um... Common mistake with those who are um, new to omelet making is you would think that you put the eggs in first and then Mix you, it. Don't do that. And then you put the fruit, the vegetables Saute. in. Saute. Yes, that's not Saute. the way to do Unless, it. Unless you're making just an egg omelet with nothing in it. So we're gonna leave our onions in there a little bit to, you know, sizzle up some, okay? Then we're gonna get a fork. Oh, but first we're gonna clean up our workspace. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Holloway, my nutrition teacher, who would be so disappointed if she saw this video. <laughs> um, especially considering the fly that I killed on my cutting board. <laughs> um, gotta pop the yolk. Give it a little, give it a little mixture. Make sure it's all nice and blended. Uh, we're gonna want the yolk and the egg whites to properly, you know, get to, get together, combine. Some might say combine. <laughs> um, others would say get together or, you know, mash. <laughs> but um, we're gonna use combine today because we're feeling like using our $100 words. So then we're gonna take our peppers. And we're gonna remember that the fly was on this side of the board. So we're gonna pour it this way so that there's no fly guts in an omelet. That's so cool. It's like sciencey and see how it's like shriveling up. Next thing we're gonna do, we have to make the vegetables even on the pan. Could someone make an omelet with other vegetables other than peppers, onions, and spinach? Absolutely not. No. no. Okay. It's kind of disgraceful, honestly, a little bit disrespectful to me. <laughs> okay. Personally. Like a mushroom, for example. No. Oh. My gosh. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, no. That should okay. be illegal. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna restart them just to make sure they're nicely combined. We're gonna make sure it coats it coats every part of the pan that we have, mm, you know? Nice so we're just gonna mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. What happens now? And this is where we add the cheese. So how do you know it's even cooked in the top? On the top, it is. Okay, because there's no motion. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is the part where we're gonna cross our fingers. Okay. To make sure that it's not burnt on the other side. Yes, that's a good point. Or overcooked or anything. Okay. So we're, you're just how not gonna know? look. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This isn't normally how it works. <laughs> it's normally better than this. Um, I mean, you can ask my mom. <laughs> she's 
she's seen my omelets before. Um, and they're good. They're really, really good. Um, I think I just got a little sidetracked. So, um, we're gonna just... This is like a... It's okay to make mistakes, guys. It is okay. It's okay. And you just said it's not. You just have to... You just have to, um... Oh, it still looks good, though. I'll still eat that. Oh. And we're gonna play it her on up. Oh my gosh, what if it broke? I would cry, I would, I would cry, I would cry. Oh, maybe they're just like... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> See? That side looks better. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oftentimes, I pair this with some elegant sauces, like Texas peat, <laughs> um, and occasionally ketchup. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Mom. I'm just gonna show them what the inside is gonna look, look I don't, like. I don't mind. So that. we're just gonna get a little bit of um, a little bit of action right here, and then if you can see, we have the cheese in the middle. You know, nice melted, oh, melted cheese. Yes. And then we have just the nice. See, we have peppers on that side. And the nice array. The nice spread. Yes. See how evenly the vegetables are spread. It's beautiful. And my friends, that's how you make. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys make omelets. I do not suggest um, using unsanitary <laughs> kitchen products, like things that you've like dropped on the floor or <laughs> cross-contamination or bugs even. But uh, everyone makes mistakes. Happy accidents, so uh, happy cooking. Uh, comment below what you want me to make in Katie's Kitchen next. As long as it doesn't go outside the realm of Shakes, omelets, and avocado <laughs> toast. <laughs> I can make peanut butter and jelly and, and carrot cake. You're grilled really cheese carrot cake. and carrot cake. So you can pick out of those. So don't comment below anything, but comment below <laughs> one of those. And I'll make it for you. See you next time in the kitchen. Good morning. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.